Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a new edition. So it just finished up uh, last night, uh, it was last night when I'm filming this anyways, at the uh, Cactus and Succulent Society uh, monthly meeting. So it was the June meeting, um, which is, I really, really enjoy going to the uh, Cactus and Succulent Society. Uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times and I highly recommend uh, that you uh, join a local society. Uh, if there is one in your area, of course, it's a great way to meet people, um, pick up some excellent knowledge, and also um, to to buy plants that you you might not be able to purchase elsewhere. Uh, so I purchased seven plants in total. I'll show you what they look like uh, before I repot them. It's winter uh, at the moment, so not an ideal time to be repotting, but I always, always repot uh, brand new plants uh, when I first get them, just so I can see what's going on underneath. I don't want to put them into the collection and then find out um, later on down the track that there's something that I need to know about. Um, so it could be a pest disease, could be damaged roots, all sorts of things happen. Um, they're a living, uh, you know, a living organism, so Plenty of things could happen unbeknownst to the uh, to the grower, so uh, I just like to give them a good once over and also put in the um, pest treatment that I use, which is a systemic one. Uh, so I put that in as well, and that way when it comes time to water, that soaks in, goes into the plant, and then I know that everything in the collection is on the same um, on the same level. Um, so today I got, well last night I got, I purchased uh, five cacti, or cactus, and two uh, succulents. Uh, so we've got a Sulco Rebucia Steinbeckii, uh, Echinocereus uh, Oklahomenus, or something like that, and then a Thallo Cactus Cetispinus, a Lophophora Coeresii, hello, um, and a Mammillaria Boccasana Fred. So this will be the third Fred that I've purchased. Um, and then come uh, spring or summer, I'll actually um, cut this one up and, and graft it onto something else. And then I bought two Conophytums as well. I have one other Conophytum in my collection, um, and I think they're quite interesting. So I picked up two. Uh, they weren't a lot of money, so I thought, well, why not? It's nice to have some diversity within the collection. Anyways, enough waffling. Let me show you what they look like now, and then we will fast forward uh, through a quick uh, repotting. I've done a few repotting videos, so we won I won't spend too much time going over it again. Uh, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're all done. All right, let's uh, flip it around and have a look at these plants. Alrighty, so here they are uh, in their uh, the pots that they came in. Uh, so I'll put them into the pots that I like to use. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got a uh, Sulco Rebucia here. Uh, real cutie. I already have this one, but I bought another one anyways. Um, there's a the little uh, Echinocereus or Echinocereus, however you like to say it. And uh, I've got a Thallocactus setispinus here in the middle. Now, this is... Um, it's interesting because it looks very different to the Thallocactus's cacti uh, that I already have uh, and so I spoke to um, Pete from the cacti guys which is where I purchased this plant from uh, and he was telling me that there is some um, a little bit of a, a, a blur between the lines of thallo cactus and ferro cactus and that this one here uh, you know falls into that sort of bridge sort of uh, area so that's why it doesn't look like I expected it to look but uh, still a really cool looking plant nonetheless uh, I've got here the uh, Lophophora coeresia, which is grafted onto, uh, I'm guessing that's a um, Trichocerus hybrid. Um, so he's got a little bit of growing to do, but still nice and um, plump and, and fat. Um, and then there's the Mammillaria boccasana fred, real cutie. Uh, I like these guys a lot. Um, and then here's the uh, Conophytums that I purchased. Uh, so one is just... Um, listed just as kind of and the other one I can't really read the writing but there's something else after it uh, so they're pretty cool as well uh, so this is what they look like now and uh, from here I will repot them and then show you what they look like at the end alrighty so the soil mix that I'm going to be using for most of these with the exception of the graft uh, is just here these are the components that I'll use so I've got here some scoria or volcano rock we have got uh, pumice some um, potting soil, some perlite, and then some quartz pebbles. And then this one here is, um, this one here is the uh, smaller pieces because I reuse uh, potting soil. Uh, it goes through two sieves 
a larger one and then a smaller one and this is the result of what after the second sieve um, so this is it looks like a lot of organic matter but it's actually um, mostly just tiny little rocks so I put a uh, some of that in as well uh, so that's the soil mix that I'll use the soil mix that I use for the uh, graft is going to be uh, much more organic because it's a trichocerus stock and here they all are all potted up into their new homes